backwards jumps. What's up, guys? This is Ty Sasson, and welcome back to another episode. It's episode 18, and last time we drained the ocean and built a two-chunk slime farm, which uh, was quite, quite fun. Uh, a lot of work, but quite fun. And that thing is just killing it over there. It's, 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 uh, yeah, produces all the slime in the world. Uh, all the slime in the world, because it's the only slime farm. Okay, I don't have, yeah, I got no jokes. It's bad. Uh, today, we, uh, we're gonna take a little bit of a break from this whole giant farm thing, you know? <laughs> we had a couple of pretty big episodes, uh, a lot of resource gathering and giant holes and all of that. Speaking of giant holes, giant hole. Haha. -ha. So, uh, a little bit of work has been done. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do here in just a minute, but, uh, we've been, we've been doing some stuff in between episodes, uh, over here at the base. So, that is our base down there where that end portal is. And, uh, I decided to dig some of this out because ultimately this area is going to change a lot. Quite a bit, actually. And, uh, I needed to get ready for a second floor down here. And I, I probably will dig up a layer or two more. Um, haven't quite hashed that out quite yet, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna dig this, uh, this whole place out a little bit. We'll have different levels and things like that. And I've had, uh, some thoughts about what we're going to do here, and I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. And, uh, I'm gonna throw these oak saplings into the end. Perfect. So, yeah, what are we gonna do today? Well, you see, uh, thanks to the fact that I have been just running and gunning, uh, for for 17 episodes just killing it you know doing big stuff all the time just big 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 uh, there's some problems that I have <laughs> oh man problems uh, I forgot to do a couple things that are pretty important well one thing that's really important and let me show you really quickly what that is so down oh man it would have been so cool if I had flown into the right room right now man that been sweet you guys have been like what look at this guy man he's just doing all this so this is my uh, food box and uh, that's all the food I have that and this and uh, that's it so we're gonna we're gonna make a little bit of a temporary farm today uh, like I said this area out here is going to change quite a bit so um, hello but uh, all this land is uh, it's it's untouched and uh, I think we're going to make ourselves just a little bit of a wheat farm. That'll take just a short time. And then we're going to make a couple other little farms. So let me, uh, let me grab my uh, diamond hoe and find a suitable location for a farm. And uh, yeah, we'll make a few of those today. All right, guys, it's uh, it's not perfect, but it is it is a farm and that will do. So there's uh, farm number one. There's a couple options or a couple options. There's a couple options. There are options. We could make other stuff in here besides wheat. Anyways, there's there's a couple of issues here. Uh, first of all, I like to have uh, lily pads or something that you can walk on. And I think I'd like to use lily pads. I've used carpet before, actually. In the series, I've used carpet, um, but I I think that lily pads would be better. So I'm gonna go grab some of those here in just a second, and we'll uh, we'll dust those around here. Not dust, we'll cover. Yeah. Um, and the other thing that we're we're kind of missing is lighting. And one of the best ways for a farm to get lighting is jack o' lanterns or something under here. I could use glowstone, right? But Glowstone's kind of expensive, uh, let's be honest. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll use some jack-o'-lanterns, but the issue is is that my only pumpkin farm in the world has um, the capacity of six pumpkins at a time, which, you know. So let's, uh, let's fix that up too, because not only do I need pumpkins for this little temporary farm, but I have a future farm that's gonna need some pumpkins as well. All right, here's a question. Is there a way to farm lily pads in this game that doesn't involve AFK fishing? Because, yeah, that's not a thing I'm gonna do. Um, because, yeah, this, this doesn't seem like the best way to do this. There's a slime farm if you haven't seen it. It's awesome. Uh, this all looks really ugly up here. 
All right, this is more more or less complete. Uh, I have some water issues that I need to sort out it's thanks to me digging out blocks underneath there, but that's okay. So pumpkin farm, uh, what we want to do with the pumpkin farm is uh, make it so it's super easy to harvest, which means that it's not going to be as efficient. Uh, we'll make a, a much more efficient one in the future, but what we'd like to do is be able to, to basically actually have some pumpkins with me. So if we have them force themselves to grow on a block right like this then what we can do is we can just go down as long as we're in uh, uh, range of the haste beacon and we can just kill all the pumpkins right super fast so what i think we'll do is well maybe maybe we'll make it right here um it's kind of a flat area yeah i think i'll dig out this area right next to the uh the base and we'll we'll utilize this and we'll kind of make some lanes that we can go back and forth on and uh and be able to harvest some pumpkins well that wasn't too hard uh only issue is i made a ton of pumpkin seeds i had like 44 pumpkins in my inventory and i thought yeah i need all the pumpkin seeds uh they make four a piece and i just shift clicked them into my inventory and yeah now we have way too many uh, pumpkin seeds, and I'm kind of thinking we should make this thing even bigger. Um, I have a ton of bone meal, so I can speed this up, and I think we'll, I think I'll stretch it over there, uh, just to use up these pumpkin seeds, because, uh, yeah, this is ridiculous, and I'm gonna need a ton of pumpkins, so, uh, coming next episode, yeah, next episode, there's going to be a big farm, an actual big farm. Yeah, I know, we're, we're doing lots of noob stuff today, so, you know, it is what it is, it's, it's fun to make pumpkin farms and all of that, but, uh, generally speaking, I'm the type of player that would do them in a large fashion, but right now I need a, a ton of them and there's uh, no reason for me to do that. So I just need to get a ton and, and get them going and, you know, ain't no, ain't no time for no giant uh, pumpkin farm. So yeah, let me, uh, let me stretch this out just a little ways and then we'll move on to one more uh, farm. All right, the last bone meal happening here. And as you can see on the screen, we already have some pumpkins growing uh, in just the time that it took me to run downstairs and grab some bone meal from the bottom mop farm and uh, come back up here and do some bone mealing. And even better news, my wife just brought me some warm cookies. So yeah, mm -hmm. things are things are good. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're almost done with this guy and then we'll, uh, we'll let it run and start, start harvesting. The nice thing with, uh, pumpkins is even in this formation where they only have one chance to grow, they grow pretty quick. Um, as you can see, <laughs> wow, that was, that was amazing. Thank you, pumpkins. So yeah, what we're going to do next is we're going to make a cactus farm so this is all sort of in preparation for some things that are going to come here in the near future so obviously this is to get us some food because that's a huge problem and this is the thing that'll probably stay up uh in the world the longest and uh man what, what was i thinking uh yep nope, not gonna happen um the pumpkins are for lighting so we're gonna use these in jack at jack o lanterns uh we're gonna turn them into jack o Oh my goodness, Jack O lanterns. Um, we're going to turn them into Jack O lanterns and use them as lighting, both in that farm and uh, in a farm that we're going to build very soon. And the cactus is for dye. It's the one dye that we're not farming in the world. So, kind of an important one. Um, now, a cactus farm is something that we're also going to incorporate into the base eventually. Um, it won't be down there, but uh, I would love to be able to place it in just the right spot, but since I, I'm pretty confident that that's just not going to happen, uh, I'm just going to find a spot that's close to the base here. I, I, I kind of am aiming on this side of the base, but I feel like we could probably go with uh, with right over here. So, um, yep, I think this hill is going to be it. Uh, no, not above the mob from. This hill over here is going to be it. Okay, these pumpkins are not messing around. Uh, yeah, this is going to be fine. Oh, oh, you silly pumpkin. I didn't think of that. So, uh, yeah, just in the time that it took me to make this, which is, yeah, not very much time. All those pumpkins over there, uh, grew up. So, uh, this is going to be quite a good little, uh, farm here. So we're going to build a cactus farm. And basically what we're going to do is in each of these spots here, I'm not sure where that lag spike came from. 
there's going to be a cactus. And because the fact that uh, cactuses can't grow with things next to them, we're going to take advantage of that in this little farm. It's really super easy to make, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's getting dark. Uh, let me go sleep. Really those, these 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 uh, these cookies that I had? Mm -hmm. They're very good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a block on top of each of these actually, and I'm gonna get rid of the one below it. And uh, on each of these spots, we're gonna place some sand and then a cactus. And then in the, er, in the areas in between them, okay? So say this is a cactus. If we put a uh, an object here, it won't be able to grow. And when it does grow, well, I shouldn't say it won't be able to grow. When it does grow, the piece that will show up in this space right here will pop off as an item, fall in the water. It will travel over there, get in this hopper, go down into my super advanced chest, and we will collect it. So, yeah, this is uh, this is a very simple little farm. And uh, actually, in the end, when we make a uh, bigger farm, a permanent farm uh, for cactus farming, jump. Uh, we're going to use the same design. Uh, it's going to be a little bit bigger and a little bit different. Uh, but today what we're going to do is we're going to build this design and we're going to build it up pretty high. So that way we can get ourselves a lot of cactus quickly because this is a very slow farm and I need some green dye like freaking today. So yeah, let me get started. All right, we're out at the sand quarry and I think you know what we need to do. Yeah, going to have to take down our cactus. No, wait, I love these cactuses. No, we're gonna take some cactuses from over here. <laughs> I'm not gonna destroy my cactus line uh, here in the sand quarry, uh, but I do need some cactus because it's just not a resource that I own. So for right now, I'm gonna run around the desert real quick and grab some for our farm. All right, heading to the iron farm real quick and we're just gonna, we're just gonna drop in here and uh, yes, iron. Grab some of this. Wow. Um, I think we have enough for what I want to do. Yeah, that I think that'll work. What do you think? All right, so here's the plan, right? So we got these two cactuses here and two cactuses here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to place that right there. And okay. All right, so we're going to place that right there and place that right there. And we're going to get rid of... Why is, what, what is, what is with my inventory? Get rid of that, let that fall down. And basically when this tries to grow, this block is now in its way. So it will just simply pop off and fall into the water. Um, hopefully not fall on the cactus or on like the little lip or something like that. But this is not uh, going to be a perfect farm. It's just sort of the nature of cactus farm. So we'll, we'll do one of these in between this row and then um, between this row and that's what we're gonna do kind of all the way up and now again uh, this isn't a perfect farm it's not gonna be you know perfectly lossless or anything like that cactus farms are are difficult because of the fact that a they grow super slow so they're super hard to farm and B uh, they're yep see when things fall on them uh, they get removed from the game so uh, hopefully not too many things fall on the cactuses, but it just sort of is what it is. It's something that you deal with with the cactus farm. So uh, let me get this first layer finished and start on the second layer. And I'll kind of show you how we're going to uh, continue this upwards. All right. So all I've done here, just to give you an idea, this iron bar, all I did was place a uh, dirt block on top of that one on either side of that and did that kind of all the way down the line. And then you just continue the process sand and then cactus on top of it and uh, iron bars up a block and in between. So pretty easy to, uh, to do. And there we go. That's kind of all it takes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make this thing kind of big, not huge, but sort of big. So that way we can get a decent amount of cactus. Again, this isn't like a super fast farm. So, uh, it, Dang you. Uh, it will uh, it will take a little bit of time to get uh, a decent supply of cactus going. But um, yeah, like I said, we're going to be using it as dye and we kind of want to use it in the next farm I build. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll, we'll be able to get a decent amount in the next few days before we build that farm. All right, guys. So that worked out mighty fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it looks ridiculous, but that's okay. Um, like I said, this is this is a temporary uh, a temporary cactus farm, and we'll be building hopefully a much better cactus farm in the future. So uh, for now, though, this thing is is done. I I would recommend to you if you're ever going to make one of these. Uh, I mean, this design is completely fine, but just make sure that you put a wall on it. Uh, I'd probably recommend like glass or something so that you can see it. Oh, there goes a cactus. Yes. Um, so this thing does what it's supposed to do. Uh, it doesn't do it very quickly. Uh, you can see we have 12 plus the eight that I had left. So, you know, we're, we're making, um, no, we're not making a profit yet. <laughs> eventually we'll make a profit but uh yeah this is this is good to go man so this will be uh, a good little cactus farm for now and uh hopefully it'll produce enough cactus for us to get some cactus uh, uh green cactus green i think that's what it's called cactus green dye and uh yeah i have way too many iron bars i know it was ridiculous <laughs> by the way i didn't mention earlier why i was surprised when i got to the cactus farm is i i emptied that not too long ago and uh yeah, it's it just do it does it thing its thing out there at spawn. So, yeah, all right, guys. So three farms for one price, which is you know a couple of few hours of work and some resource gathering and all of that. But uh, I think I think we've done pretty well. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Oh man, I think we did pretty good. Uh, I I just wanna I just wanna harvest the pumpkins. Man, who designed this pumpkin farm? But this is going to be great for uh, some temporary farms. Like I said, we we forgot to do this stuff at the beginning. You know, I I jumped right into killing wither bosses and getting wings and blah 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 ender farm and all that. But you know, I needed to get get uh, some of this stuff knocked out because uh, I can't I can't hang out and you know collect these resources manually it just takes far too much time so may as well grab some of them and uh oops <laughs> grab some of them you know what there's a, there's a five sand in my three sand in my there we go and actually i can pick that up too um so yeah i, I i'd rather uh you know do it kind of quickly so we've knocked out some some kind of quick farms get me some resources and then we'll be back to uh building the big farms really quickly so this is this is great um, I've got, I've got, uh, so many cactuses that I don't even know what to do with them or cactuses, pumpkins. So yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode, man. I, I, uh, I, I certainly enjoyed making this one. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to do some simple, you know, builds like this. And although these are things that eventually will kind of go away, it's, it's, it's fun. It's nice to do a, a nice, easy build, especially after digging out, uh, 57 by 32 area. Can I fly? What's going on today? Uh, I need to harvest this and get it going and, you know, keep harvesting my pumpkins and getting our cactus and getting ready for next episode. So next episode, we're going to be building a farm and it's going to be incorporated right into our base. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited for it. It kind of starts the, uh, uh, the next kind of phase I guess of the base which there's there's many phases if you if you haven't figured it out I'm going kind of slow here there's a lot to do with this base so uh, I'm, I'm excited to show you some more so but uh, again you know I really hope you enjoyed the episode if you did leave it a like and if you haven't already subscribe and guys that's all I got time for today so this has been Ty Sasson, and I will see you in the next episode Town in this less than fashionable cubby hole of the San Francisco Examiner. These editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer.